Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. This is a short video testing a Marine ECM from Anthony in Texas. Uh, the computer has absolutely no communication. Fuel pump is staying on, even though it's cycling, and we will see that probably in a second. Let's stay on these two lights. Fuel pump relay should come on as soon as you key on for roughly two seconds. You know, you see that on and off. That is a short computer. I do have hopes because we have fiber reference and that's what I have a meter connected to it. But every time I try to communicate with a computer, I am getting a complete dead, no, no ECM communication. So in this one, I'm using the Diacom Diagnostics. Click on connection and this should establish a connection and tells us that we are indeed connected. Uh, for this, I'm using, I might not be the correct one for the boat, but I usually use this uh, Rinda connector 94006, which I have powers and grounds and serial and diagnostics communication, which is at the end what all these boats use. So I use one and I just connected these yellow wires you see here, uh, one of the yellows or the two side wires are power and grounds and the internals mark 18 and 28 are coming from the harness that i made to connect to the computer so that's how i have communication everything is connected and again it's cycling on and off with no run or no actuation from the computer all right so i'm going to uh just stop here the video um we'll contact him and let him know that yes i uh, will be able to uh try to attempt a repair on the computer which i am very successful i have probably 100% success rate on this computer unless it's not a, a burn computer or a water damage which at the end is not repairable but if the computer is not burned to the point that has a hole through the board or is again corroded to the point that components cannot be resoldered back uh, I am pretty sure that I can repair all of them all right guys uh, again maybe I just will stop the video and then do the second part continuing this one if he approved the repair all right, guys, I talked to Anthony in Texas and he approved the repair. So the computer is ready to go. I'm just going to do a quick test. I know this is uh, not much information for uh, the repair, but it is uh, a very important uh, information for the customer and also for those that have a module like this and they want to send it for repairs. So again, this is just so he can see that this is in DC's computer. He will know that paper in there because that's where he has the uh, his name and that is so he can see the numbers on the computer in the year. So again, all right, so <clears throat> first thing we will notice is uh, as soon as I turn the ignition on, the main power relay will come on and then the fuel pump and the fuel pump will go off very, very shortly. And that is good because this is actually a DFI, so that's actually for the uh, oil pump, not for the fuel pump. But um, so that's good. Uh, I had the oscilloscope connected to um, the computer move this here the blue channel is on the cam bus uh, um, this is just communication so i'm going to change the speed so we can see the signal in there but uh, again that's just a uh, uh, not a clarification how i say that uh, a confirmation that indeed that is working good let me change it to 20 volts because then we will not be able to see the tech signal when the computer is running a uh, red channel is one of the injectors green channel is one of the st for the coils and yellow tachometer if um, the boat is has one so let's um select it <clears throat> all right so immediately we see data pits that means it's communication which is good all right so that is perfect make sure the fireball reference is still is working good and that is indeed working 100 percent all right, so we're going to <clears throat> hit the run button and we can see immediately injector activation and uh, we have the signals. I have to change the speed because I changed it for the communication. But yeah, we can see injector. We can see I'm going to stop that capture. We're going to go back to that right there. So perfect. Um, and I'm just going to keep the computer running on the uh, left side, but we're going to see here again blue is now just like a blue bar because the communication for the cam bus or the cam transceiver is a lot faster than what we can see on the injectors or the esc or so but yeah we can see that we got a nice signal on the i'm going to put a filter uh sorry a filter on this channel and also on the injector so we can see a nicer look waveform <clears throat> a lot of that is 
due to scope aliases based on the speed that we're that we're getting. But yeah, you can see the yellow channel is a nice square waveform. That is the way the tachometer is working, and we have a very nice activation for the injectors, and so is a nice activation for the EST. So everything is indeed working 100%. Um, due to the way this computer is designed, I cannot keep it running for too long because otherwise it's self fault because I don't have all the injectors. I don't have enough channels on my uh, on my uh, simulator to run on 100%. But if you see, as soon as I erase the faults, everything goes back to 100%. And the computer is reading and running very good, but I can run it only very shortly. And I can raise the RPMs right now because everything is working good. But yeah, it goes from a fully uh, working uh, injection and everything to shutting down injectors because it sees that some of the coils and some of the injectors are not connected. And I also do that on purpose to make sure that the logic in the computer is working properly. So I'm going to turn this off. I uh, wouldn't need it no more. Um, I do have a record for as soon as I was able to repair the computer and make it run again for him, for Anthony, to show what faults were there. So I'm going to send this uh, report to him so he can work on the boat. But I want to address something very shortly here because this is very important. Let me go over to the TPS no adaptation all right so but let me go down so guys can see the total hours so right now this computer let me one second turn this off so i don't have that knocking on my ear but so we can see that we have 436 18 hours that's as today and we have in here <clears throat> let me make this a little bigger yeah that's probably too much right <laughs> uh, okay right there so these are uh, full descriptions of what happened. So we got Guardian, uh, Guardian is a strategy of five, almost 4,000 seconds, sorry, and the starboard client overheat. So he had an overheat in the port a little bit and on, and on the starboard. Uh, so low oil reserve, very common on this one. So you should check your oil reservoir, the, uh, not the one on the engine, the, the one that's separate. Uh, but yeah, going back to what I want to show, because this is very important, because otherwise this computer will be here very soon again, even though I fully repair it, but I want to share right here. With the boat running, we have 810 RPM, so we can definitely see that it is not in idle, it's a little off idle, but look at the battery voltage with the boat running, 10.47 volts. That is no, 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 no. So your charging system is now working properly, and we can see 433.12. So this is three hours, around three hours before coming in here. And this will damage the memory in the computer because if the boat running is at 1047, the battery is completely depleted, the charging system is not charging. Um, when you crank this boat, uh, that battery voltage will probably go down to four volts, and that I mean, we'll try to crank, right, because it's very slow. But then now the computer logics, uh, you need to have no less than 8 volts because otherwise you start corrupting your calibrations and damaging computers. And that is exactly what we have here. So, um, yes, um, we need to correct that. And it's pretty easy to see if that ever happens again. Obviously, the boat will record what is happening after. So what I do before sending the computer back to Anthony is that I erase the history of faults, not the hours, because it's not for me to do. But so if I reconnect, <clears throat> let me reconnect to the computer, because I turn out also we don't have that. Why well, do I have that sound in my ear right here? So I don't... I will take a picture of that, so I'm going to keep that on the screen because I want to send that to him. But what I do here is I click on history and I erase the full history because obviously I'm going to set some folds up. And then I usually just read the data with the computer on just not running and uh, leave that as a history for me. Uh, there is going to be four faults, I think, uh, is fuel level, circuit high, oil level, PTOT, and trim. Those are completely normal faults with not about connected, but as you can see, there is now no full description of full log data. And I need that to go empty like that if the computer comes back and has something that is a battery depleted or something else that will let me, or give me a hint 
to help him and also to see if it's something that I need to cover or not under warranty because again, um, low voltages that can corrupt or damage a computer will not be covered. Burn components, you have a bad coil and a burn a computer, you got a shorted injector that burn a computer, that is not covered un under any warranty. So again, my warranty will cover my work workmanship and the parts that I replace, but not uh, damage on the boat. So but remember, the computer is in control of the actuators, but it's not damaging the actuators, right? It cannot damage an actuator and again, let's get shorted, but the only way the computer can get shorted is if it, water gets in it, right? But if you have a bad injector, that injector will draw a lot of amperage and it will end up damaging the computer. A coil will do the same, I have valve, oil pump, and so on. Sensors, sensors can get shorted uh, internally, but the computer is mostly protected for that, it's prepared for something like that. What it's not prepared for is on the sensor side, if one of the wires for a sensor, you know, rubbing on the block or uh, it got burned by something, and now a 12 volt touches the 5 volt reference, it will cook the computer, and that is something that is not the computer, the burn itself is a problem in the harness. Those are not covered under warranty. I just want to put that out there because sometimes people think that when a computer is under warranty, that covers any damage on the boat, uh, and it's not. So, again, the warranty is for what I'm repairing. If you have a problem in the boat that burns the computer, don't burn the computer, will have warranty. And that is not just me. If you go and buy one brand new computer from Mercury, from Mercruiser, and you install it, and you have a bad component and it burns the computer, uh, the dealer will sell you another brand new computer for the full price because they ain't going to warranty anything because it's burn computer, right? All right, just, you know, to put that out there. Okay, so the computer is running good. I'm just going to keep it off um, the video and run it, and I'm going to uh, put a few pictures for him with the computer running and the actuations. I always do that for the records of all the customers and for my records. So, guys, thank you so much for visiting the channel. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.